Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to our video presentation of CHM256. In this video, we will show you guys how to use titration to determine acidity in soft drink. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Our group consists of five group members, which is Muhammad Wafiq, Muhammad Rizwan, Muhammad Shamim, Najmi Zarif, which is me, and Ahmad Ifandani. For introduction, we use volumetric analysis, specifically acid-based titration, to determine the molarity of acid present in soft drinks. Acid-based titration is a method in analytical chemistry where a solution of non-concentration uh, is gradually added to a solution of unknown concentration until the reaction reach end point, indicated by a color change in the indicator. Many soft drinks contain acid like citric acid and carbonic acid, which contribute to their sour taste and preservative qualities. By titrating, by titrating these soft drinks with a standard solution of a base, we can accurately measure their acid content, helping us understand their chemical composition. Titration is widely used in various types of industry, like the first one is uh, pharmaceutical industry. In the pharmaceutical industry, titration ensures the precise measurement of active ingredients in drugs. For example, the concentration of aspirin, which is a weak acid, that can be determined by titrating with a strong base like sodium hydroxide and AOH. This process guarantees accurate dosages, making medications both effective and safe for consumption. Next is food and beverage industry. In the food and beverage industry, titration actually plays a crucial role in quality control. Like for example, by neutralizing acids such as carbonic acid H2CO3 with a base like NaOH, manufacturers can maintain consistent acidity levels, ensuring uniform taste and prolonging shelf life. Uh, why prolonging shelf life? Because low pH levels can be determined through titration, which also help in inhibition microbial growth and enhancing food uh, safety. Other than that is cosmetics and skincare industry. Um, the cosmetics and skincare industry actually relies a lot on acid-based titration to regulate the product pH. Okay, why is that? Because skincare items like facial cleansers and serums must have pH levels compatible with human skin to avoid irritation. Titration allows precise adjustments ensuring products are gentle and effective for consumers. In titration, uh, there is neutralization reaction. So neutralization reaction are uh, actually essential, particularly when analyzing weak acids like carbonic acid, H2CO3. So uh, like the equation, when carbon dioxide CO2 dissolves in water, <coughs> it will form H2CO3, which is the primary acid in carbonated beverages. So this weak diprotic acid will then react with sodium hydroxide and AOH in a 1 to 2 molar ratio. So what's written there is already the chemical uh, balance equation. So in here, uh, phenethrin is used as a common indicator because it turns from colorless to pink at pH 8.3 until 10. Uh, so we will take it as a signal that the reactions end point. After that, to quantify acidity, the formula uh, moles equal to molarity times volume is used. Since H2CO3 requires two moles of NaOH for complete neutralization, then uh, its concentration is calculated as one mole of H2CO3 is equal to half of mole in AOH. So this stoichiometric approach ensures accurate measurements of carbonic acid in soft drinks, which will maintain the product consistency and safety. So now, let's take a look on the methodology. The title of the experiments 
is determination of acidity in soft drinks using acid-based titration. The chemical used are sodium hydroxide as titrant, which is base, and soft drink as analyte, which is acid, and phenylphthalein as indicator. It turns pink in base. So, for the apparatus and material that have been used are burette 50 ml and pipette 25 ml and pipette filler, conical flask, beaker, soft drink sample, example like Coca Cola or soda, and 0.1 molarity sodium hydroxide solution, which is standard base, and phenol phthalein indicator. And also, the last but not least, is distilled water. Okay, these are the procedure. The first one is sample preparation. Open the soft drink bottle and let it stand for a few hours or stir to remove carbonation, which is CO2 gases. And pipette 35 ml of the, the gases soft drink into a conical flask. Second, add indicator. Add two or three drops of phenolphthalein to the soft drink sample. The solution should remain colorless because it is acidic. The third one is set up the titration. Rinse the burette with the 0.1 molarity sodium hydroxide solution and fill it. And Clamp the burette vertically and record the initial volume. The fourth one are perform the titration. Titrate by slowly adding sodium hydroxide from the burette to the soft drink while swirling the conical flask gently. Stop adding when a persistent pale pink color appears. This is the end point. And Record the final burette reading. Last but not least, the fifth, which is repeat. We need to repeat the titration three times for accuracy and take the average volume of sodium hydroxide used. So here is a brief procedure from procedure before. Uh, prepare cola sample and then add it to clean class. Add indicator which is phenolphthalein. Uh, rinse and fill burette. Titrate while swirling, you must swirl it. Uh, and then at end point, you must stop and record the volumes and then repeat it again three times. For safety measures, uh, it is a must to handle and it rich with care because it is corrosive and it can actually burn skin. Um, and then ensure glassware is rinsed with distilled water before use to uh, prevent contamination and to get um, a curate result and then dispose of waste according to your lab safety guidelines to prevent environmental harm. This is a sample result of titration between soft cream and sodium hydroxide. So the titrant is sodium hydroxide while the analyte is the soft drink or cola with constant volume of 25 ml used for all trial. And the average volume of sodium hydroxide used to reach the endpoint is 25 ml. To find the concentration of carbonic acid, we can use this neutralization formula MAVA over MBVB is equal to coefficient of acid over coefficient of base. MAVA are the molarity and volume for acid, uh, by versa MBVB for base. Firstly, we need to know the chemical reaction in this titration. Here is the balanced chemical equation of this reaction. H2CO3 plus 2NaOH is the reactant and the product is Na2CO3 plus 2 mol of H2O. Then, we can determine the molarity of carbonic acid by substituting all the information that we have already gotten into the neutralization formula and we can get the concentration of carbonic acid is 0.04 molar. For the conclusion, 
This experiment aimed to determine the acidity of a soft drink by performing an acid-based titration using sodium hydroxide as the titrant. The technique allowed us to calculate the concentration of carbonic acid in the sample. Through careful titration, the volume of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize the acid in the soft drink was measured. The reaction followed a predictable stoichiometry enabling accurate calculation of molarity using volumetric analysis. So next, uh, the reaction between carbonic acid and sodium hydroxide produced water and sodium carbonate. An acid-based indicator, which is phenolphthalein, was used to detect the endpoint of detergent when neutralization occurred. After that, the result confirmed that detergent is an effective method to quantify weak acids in beverage. The calculated molarity helped determine the acidity level, which is important for quality control in the food and drink industry. So in, a, in conclusion, this experiment show how titration is used in real-world application to ensure product safety, consistent, consistency, and taste. It also re reinforces the importance of precise measurement in chemical analysis. These are the references.